we're in Photoshop again, and uh, we're going to remove the background around this uh, coffee cup image. And uh, before we'd use the filter in the extract method, well, this time we're going to use the uh, the eraser. And then your, uh, your, your toolbar over here, you see that says eraser. And if you hold down on your eraser icon, it will give you three options, the eraser tool, which is, is uh, the default, the background eraser, and the magic tool. We're going to use the background eraser. And as we move it over the image, you'll see that we have a uh, uh, circle with a little uh, cross in the middle. Let me zoom in here so I can show you a little better. And what's important now is that the circle remains over the edge of the background and uh, the, the cup itself. But the little X in the middle <clears throat> is always going to be in the background. We don't want it to be on the cup. We want it to be on the background. And here, we'll, we'll, we'll just try one click. One click takes away, as you see, one click takes away the background, but not the cup itself. So what it's doing, it's testing the background and saying, this is what you want to take away, not this. You want to take this, and you'll do this. And you can, you can just single click all the way around here if you want. But you can also put the X in the background and you can drag. And as soon as it, the X comes to a new background portion, you see it blocks out whatever size your uh, brush is. So you can go all the way around here. And I'll click around this edge. And then I'll, I'll finish up here. Now, if you wish, you can just use the rest of this to, to block out the background. It's, 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 if you, if you go along the edge and you, you do it, it's okay. It's probably just as well to come over here and choose again, hold down, do your eraser tool, come up here and uh, choose the pencil and choose the brush size, this is fine, what we've got here now. Then I can come here and I can erase everything that I, I want to along here. So when I finish, this I'll have the background completely finished. Okay, I've taken time out to, to finish the rest of it in the background. But you see now now we are finished here. We have a, a we have a, a transparent background. We will take this image and we'll be able to pop it into any other uh, photo or on top of it, in the, uh, a layer on top of it. And this background will show the, the photo in the background and it'll show the coffee cup in the front. So that's it for now. Next, we'll pop these into a couple images.